Hello and welcome to Mule 4 training video. In this video, we are going to talk about advanced features of batch process. So in the last video, we have seen uh, to create a basic uh, flow with a batch job and batch step where we have given uh, this JSON where we have created an array of uh, uh, six records of cricket players and um, we created a template to see how the batch process works. So let's run it again and see the logs. So this flow uh, just logs the incoming payload and uh, processes and uh, we logged the individual record inside the batch step because batch step is to process one record at a time and we have the another logger at the on complete event so this on complete event runs only once after the entire batch job is completed so let's see how the logs look like so this is the incoming payload where we logged where it's an array of six records and uh, we have a log at the batch step level you can see all these uh, uh, six records are processed and uh, you can see one log that indicates the entire batch job completion. Now let's go with some advanced feature. So um, as you know, batch processing is meant to process the incoming records in batches. That is the only reason uh, between uh, the for each and this one where let's see the difference between for each and uh, batch process. For each processes the records uh, one by one uh, in a real time. But uh, batch process uh, splits the incoming records uh, and puts it into the queue and process them one by one based on the options configured in a batch job. So now we can see one of the um, important uh, configuration in the batch job level. We have batch block size where we can say not the, the default is 100. But we are not going to process them just for demo purpose. We will say block size is 3 and save it. Let's run it again and see how the logs look like. So it's completed. And now if you look at this, you won't be able to differentiate how these are getting processed in a batch. So we are going to introduce a technique to identify that. And there is a feature called a batch aggregator where uh, you can introduce processes on what to do after one batch is completed. Say for example, uh, you might want to take some uh, uh, business logic on some business rules after one batch completed and uh, you might want to update the status in the database or CSV file etc. So this will come handy. But for now, for the demo purpose, we are going to introduce the log and see what happens. And in the batch aggregator, you want to see the size of how many records you want to group. So we will give that also as 3 and we saved it and mule 4 server got uh, restarted. Now let's run the same uh, job and see what happens. So it's completed successfully. Let's take a look at the logs. So now you can see the payload uh, and uh, logs for each record and you can see one difference here. We have the uh, a log introduced after one batch so now these records are split into two batches. Uh, each, uh, each batch contains three records as per our configuration. So this is to completion of one batch step and this is the next batch. And finally you can see the entire batch job completed. 